Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we're going to take a look at a product called the Crutch Caddy. It was sent to us by a company in Australia. So if you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, be sure to share with your family and friends, and check us out at aecorner.com. So let's get started. So this is the Crutch Caddy. As you can see, it ni has a nice base. It's a little bit weighted. It will sit like this on the floor. Inside, we have two circle areas. These are called the lock and release mechanisms. So this is the area that you will set the crutch tips down into. As you set it down into this area, you see that it'll have four lever arms that come up to surround the end of the crutch to hold it stable. Now, each lever arm is actually glow in the dark. So when you store this during the day, put it in a nice lit area so that you have nice uh, glow-in-the-dark properties at night so that you can see where this is. Now in the box with the Crutch Caddy they also include two uh, crutch tip ends. Now these are specific sizes for this um, Crutch Caddy. The end of these in the diameter of these are one and three-fourths quarter inches that will fit right into this Crutch Caddy. Now most um, crutches that are made in, are used in the United States, the axillary crutches, the ones that you use underneath your armpits, um, typically will be that size. Now if the end of your crutch is worn out, if the tip is not very good, it may not work real well in there, so you may want to substitute it with the ones they've included. But most of this type of crutch, um, this tube at the end needs to be 7 8 inches in diameter and that's what this will typically be. I do want to bring to your attention though I have uh, what I call a forearm crutch right here and I tried it with this and the tubing on the end of this is too small to actually work with uh, this rubber tip that they've included so that won't work in the crutch caddy. The other question I had right off the bat was will this work with a cane? The answer is no. It's not advertised to work with a cane. The end of cane tips vary in all types of sizes, um, but this common type of cane right here, this tubing at the end of this again is going to be too small to work with that crutch tip that they've included in the box. So let's take a minute and see how the crutch caddy works. So as you can see, I have my crutch caddy sitting next to my chair. Now you could also put this next to your bed. Uh, you could get two and have one next to your bed and your favorite chair, whatever works for you. Now I have to admit I was initially a little skeptical as to whether or not this crutch caddy would really hold the crutches upright, especially if they got bumped. I actually am really quite impressed with how this holds the crutches upright. The other thing that I like is the fact that it, it is very easy to take these crutches in and out of the crutch caddy. So it takes little effort to get those in or out of the crutch caddy. So if I was using this at my seat here, I wouldn't stand up, especially if I was, for example, non-weight bearing on one of my legs. Um, I wouldn't stand up first and then grab my crutches. I would actually take the crutches out of the crutch caddy. Um, I have this on my dominant side, which is my right side. Putting it here, this gives me some pretty good stability. I'm going to push on the crutch and push up from the chair. I'm going to come up into a standing position. Once I'm there, I will adjust the crutches to each side of my body. As I come to sit back down, I'm again going to put the crutch here. I'm not going to put it in the crutch caddy yet. I'll use this for stability. I'll reach back for the chair and have a seat. And then I can easily place my crutches right back here in the crutch caddy. Now for anyone who's used crutches before, you know that when you go to sit down, you typically have to have somebody take your crutches and stand them up in a corner, or you may lay them out like this so they're easily accessible to you. That's also a tripping hazard. So the crutch caddy works out really well, making your crutches very accessible, keeping them out of the way of a tripping hazard, and, and they're right here, uh, easy for you to get. So that is the Crutch Caddy. I do really like this product. Be sure to check out the comment section below for further details and a link to where you can find the Crutch Caddy. We will also include the different measurements of the crutch tips as well as the end tubing on the crutches um, for your information. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.